be ready 5 seconds the petitioners have challenged the constitutional validity of the recovery of debts due to banks and financial institutions act 1993 on the ground that the act is unreasonable and is violative of article 14 of the constitution and that it is beyond the legislative competence of the parliament to enact such a law the petitioners have also challenged the appointment of the third respondent as the debts recovery tribunal under section 5 of the act the immediate cause for filing this petition was the notification whereby under section 3 of the act with the areas of jurisdiction as delhi was established it is alleged that the appointment of the third respondent is an exercise of fraud on the powers conferred on the central government under the act on the question of reasonableness of the law as enacted mr lekhi learned counsel for the petitioners referred to the statement of objects and reasons while presenting the bill which ultimately took the shape of the act before the parliament as noted in the beginning of the judgment the respondents have questioned the locus standi of the petitioners in cwp number 3050 oblique 94 to file this petition we are of the view that there cannot be a better body than a bar association for upholding the independence of judiciary we record our appreciation of the delhi high court bar association in bringing up this petition thus we hold that though tribunal could be constituted by parliament and that the expression administration of justice as appearing in 7th schedule to the constitution would include tribunals as well administering justice the act called the recovery of debts due to banks and financial institutions act 1993 is unconstitutional as it erodes the independence of judiciary and is irrational discriminatory unreasonable arbitrary and is hit by article 14 of the constitution and that respondent number 3 does not fulfill the qualification to be appointed as presiding officer of the tribunal the notification dated 5 july 1994 issued under section 3 of the act constituting debts recovery tribunal with the areas of jurisdiction as delhi is quashed it was suggested to us that we could mold the relief and give direction to the central government to amend the act and or frame rules in accordance with the mandate of the constitution and then uphold the validity of the act but we do not think we should adopt such a course as it is no concern of the court to suggest modalities having held the act to be unconstitutional it becomes necessary for us to give directions as to the applications pending before the debts recovery tribunal as list of cases pending before the debts recovery tribunal established under notification was filed before us in these proceedings all these cases shall stand transferred to the original side of this court and shall be deemed to have been instituted on the dates these were filed before the debts recovery tribunal the applicants who would now become plaintiffs would pay court fee within 4 weeks